Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet these flowers. I'll be using these smaller flowers on my spring blanket, but I'll crochet them in the thicker yarn to make it easier for you to see today. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 106 Snow White, 146 Vivid Blue and 389 Apple Green. I've got scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and stitch it together, white beads and I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook. For my spring blanket I'm using the Maxi Sugar Rush in colours 606 Grass Green, 215 Royal Blue and I'm also using the 106 Snow White. Now I'll start on these white flowers there. I make three of them all the same. So using my 106 of Snow White I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it however you feel most comfortable. I like to just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with this yarn at the end through the circle and there's my magic loop. Now I'm going to have five petals for my flower and each is five chain and slip stitch into the circle. So I work five chain and slip stitch into my circle. So I put my hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And that's my first petal. So five chain and slip stitch into the circle. And I need three more petals the same. Five chain and slip stitch into the circle. Then five chain and slip stitch into the circle. And I need one more petal of five chain and slip stitch into the circle. Then I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the tail and just ease the circle in as tight as I can and fasten off. And that's the first flower done. I'll make another one. So I start with a magic loop and work five chain. And slip stitch into the circle. Work five chain and slip stitch into the circle. And I repeat that three more times. Five chain and slip stitch into the circle. And I need two more petals. I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the second petal done. I'll have to make another one but I'll make it off video. For the blue flower I've got my 146 of Vivid Blue and I make a magic loop and work one chain 
I'm going to work 10 single crochet into my circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook in through the circle and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. So we need nine more single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, just next to that first chain. We put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on our hook. For row two, we start with three chain and we're going to work a treble cluster in the same stitch and the next stitch, the same stitch as a chain. We put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the same stitch as a chain and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We've got two loops on our hook. We put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. And then we put the yarn around the hook twice hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We've got four loops on our hook now and then we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, Hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, then yarn around the hook. Hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. We've now got five loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's our first petal. Now we work three chain. And slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of our cluster. Then we slip stitch into the next stitch and we're going to repeat that four more times. So we start with three chain and then we're going to work a four treble cluster over the same stitch as a chain and the next stitch. So yarn around the hook twice, hook into the same stitch as a chain and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook. Take your hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, take your hook through two more loops. Then yarn around the hook twice, hook into the same stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take your hook through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook through two more loops. We've got three loops on our hook, then we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take our hook through two loops, yarn around the hook and take our hook through two more loops. We've got four loops on our hook and then we put the yarn around the hook twice for our last part of the cluster. Hook into that same stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook through two more loops. We've got five loops left, then yarn around the hook and take our hook through all the loops and then work three chain. 
and slip stitch into that same stitch. Then slip stitch into the next stitch and work three chain. Now we work a four treble cluster over the same stitch as a chain and the next stitch again, the same as we've been working. So the first two parts of our cluster are in the same stitch as a chain. And then the second two parts of the cluster are in the next stitch. Then we work three chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of our cluster. We slip stitch into the next stitch and work three chain. Then we work a four treble cluster over the same stitch as a chain in the next stitch. And then we work three chain and slip stitch in the same stitch. We've got two stitches left, so we slip stitch into the second last stitch and work three chain. And work a four treble cluster over the same stitch as a chain and the last stitch. And we work three chain and slip stitch into our last stitch and fasten off. And that's the flower done. For the leaves, they both work the same. I've got my 389 the apple green and I start with eight chain. I work one half double crochet in the third chain for the hook. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch the third from the hook and bring up a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we need one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One single crochet into each of the following two stitches. Slip stitch into the last stitch. Work one chain. And slip stitch into the last stitch again. 
then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. We're working down the back so it's the back loop of the chain just in there. So one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then one half double crochet into the back loop of the next three stitches. Then work two chain and slip stitch into that last stitch and fasten off. And that's the first leaf done. I'll work another one the same. We start with eight chain. I miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next three chain. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Into the last chain, work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch. Now we're going to work down into the back loops. We work one single crochet in the back loop of the next two stitches. And then one half double crochet in the back loop of the last three stitches. Work two chain and slip stitch into that last stitch and fasten off. And that's the second leaf done. That's all the pieces worked. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the two leaves, the blue flower and the three white flowers. The first things I do is I'll attach two flowers together. I'll attach a bead to the centre of a flower and then I'll stitch the two flowers together just by one petal and I'll attach a bead to the centre of the flower and then I'll be back and show you how to do the other flower. For the tiny beads, I've got the special needle that will go through the beads. It's very hard to thread, but I use that for the tiny beads. For this flower, I attach a leaf. It goes almost to the center circle and then I'll attach a bead into the centre circle and attach the leaf the other side. So I leave the one space in between the petal in between. So I'll put this flower together and join these two and then I'll be back. 
The last thing I do is join this flower to the other two flowers. I join these three petals to that petal there. The middle petal will be joined to where the two petals join from that one and the last petal is joined to that petal there and then I'll attach a bead to the centre. So in like that. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished flowers. And there's the finished flowers. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.